Hello everyone and welcome back to BAPS Hockey. Today I'm going to continue on the video breakdown section of the website to show you some clips and samples of what you would get if you worked with BAPS Hockey in this new Hockey IQ development system. So here we're going to go through Ryan Lowney right, through, right here. He's the defenseman right here. I'm actually right here. He's my teammate. We're going to go through what a defenseman can do on this shift to create more offense and sustain some offense in the in the ozone. And again, here I'm showing an example at the East Coast level. That's again the the farm leagues for the NHL. And again, this system is inclusive to minor league hockey, these uh, East Coast and AHL leagues. And then I'm going to give you an example at the NHL level. And again, any player can use this system to increase their hockey IQ increase their offensive production, and get their game to the next level. So I'm going to play this clip out right here. This puck's going to go over to the side. And something we talk about at Babs Hockey is face-off awareness and face-off details. Lowney right here, this puck's going to come into a 50-50 puck battle. And what he does, he's able to identify that he gets on the right side of the puck, wins this puck battle, and does something that separates most Def good defenseman from great defenseman is he makes a great first pass out of the zone and when you're able to do that that essentially allows you to set up the rest of the play and allows you to get up the ice cleanly and that first pass is so crucial for defensemen to make and makes clean because if that first pass isn't on it makes it, it everything becomes starts to spiral out of control really quickly. So really great for his pass. And then the second thing I really like about this play is as soon as he makes that play, he jumps, he's on his horse to create this three on two. And again, he does a great job of getting inside positioning on this player. And if this puck comes off the pad, he'd be able to tap this thing in. And so the D-men here on the opposing team do a really good job of controlling the play. And so nothing really, uh, nothing really comes of it. But again, this is a really good habit to have as a defenseman to jump in the rush. Too many times I see in minor hockey specifically, in the NHL you see, less, you see more of what Ryan's doing here, which is jumping up on the rush. In minor hockey, defensemen think they need to sit back. And this is an excellent demonstration of what defensemen need to do to create more offense. Because teams are just better defensively now. So you need to find new ways to create offense. And so jumping on the rush just as a forward is an excellent way to create offense and just create another wave. And so right through here, this plays out. Ryan does a great job of identifying three forwards down low and not a solid F3. So he doesn't step. He takes a step back and allows the F3 to track above their offense. And so what happens because he does that, he's able to stack, he's able to stay on top of their players, and then there's a turnover, a turnover down on the wall here, and now we regain puck possession. And now with puck possession, we can start creating offense. And so just to, uh, what I'd like to see is Ryan's right back here. So he's right here. He kind of comes underneath. What I'd like to see is once he sees this player come up the wall with the puck I'd like to I like to get him the puck I like him to call for it so that way once he once he gets the puck now he's moving with speed and players can start funneling into lanes versus where now this play comes up the wall and now it becomes a one versus three situation with players coming back so again he's being more defensive which is the smart play but again this is a little detail to add to really command for that puck here because now if we have this puck and allow our forwards to regain some more speed and get and start to fill lanes more we'll be able to generate more offense and sustain offense a little bit longer so again here's an, this is just a really good shift overall again and this is what you would get when you work with Babs hockey is an illustration of the things that you do well the things that essentially make you an effective player that create and how you create offense and then we go through some of the little details that we can add and correct so that you can essentially sustain that and 
create offense more consistently. So just a great shift overall. A couple little things to add there that he can, again, create some more offense. So really good job, Ryan. And these are some diff these are some things you would get, and this is a sample of what you would get if you worked with Babs Hockey. This is next level hockey IQ training. This will get your game to a whole new a whole new level and will get you to the next level. So make sure you go to the front a home page, drop your shift off, I'll analyze it, and we'll get your game to that next level.